and realize what it requires to serve me. And that's why I know how to serve you. Look at that. Like, I mean, I feel like we need to end it right there. Like, that's a word <laughs> in itself. <laughs>
and then I go in with my cleanser. Now, for every day, this is my go-to, which is the Tula Skin Care, the Cult Classic Cleanser. It's so good. This really works for me, but really can work for anybody because of the gel cleanser. So it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily and it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry. And I just put like a quarter size amount and I make sure I lather it up in my hands before I put it on my face to make sure that it is nice and clean. And then if you don't do anything else, you gotta put on some eye cream. And I use the Drunk Elephant Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. You just put a little bit on the back of your hand and take your ring finger, since it's the lightest finger you have. You don't wanna stretch your eye skin. You wanna go ahead and just rub it, not only under your eye, but get your orbital bone above, right underneath your eyebrow as well. And that's usually how I kick off my skincare routine before I get into like serums and all of that. Okay, look at this glow though, like. <laughs> For toner, I actually use the Lancome Tonique Comfort, which is like their hydrating toner, which is always nice. I think after just kind of being out and about all day and all of like the different kind of particles hitting your face, it's always nice to kind of rehydrate your skin without making it super oily or anything like that. I just put this on a cotton pad and swiped it all over my face. I heard you had a book coming out. Tell us about like, what's the title and tell us what it's about. So I am so excited that my first book, Everyday Magic, is coming out this year, which is kind of wild because I've always wanted to be an author. And so for this to be a dream realized and it being, it actually happening is so exciting. And it was funny because I wasn't too sure what I wanted to write about. I think early on, you know, the idea of writing a book of how to become a profitable or successful influencer was on the table, but it was really important to me to talk about my experience as an everyday woman, especially an everyday black woman. You know, one time, uh, a few years ago, one of my friends, she worked at a law firm, she was looking at my blog or her coworker was like, hey, you know, what are you looking at? She's like, oh, my friend's blog. She talks about style, she talks about beauty, you should check her out. So the next day the coworker comes back and she's like, I checked out your little friend. She's like, I don't get it. She's just a regular everyday black girl. And it was like, that's the point. It was really important to me to talk to the everyday woman, especially the everyday black woman about one, you don't have to be everything to everyone. That is not your responsibility. You need to focus on your assignment, but not only do you not have to be everything to everyone, you also need to know that you're more than enough. Like even though you're not everything to everyone. I talk about all of that and I'm really excited for people to read it. Amazing. I'm excited. Like what you just said that someone said your little friend and you know when people put little in front of something, you know, they try to insult your big dream. How yeah. do you how do you take criticism or discouragement, especially when you have this like huge dream, but someone is making comments because they don't believe in it just yet? You know what, I'm, I decided early on, which is easier said than done, that you know someone's criticism of me or if they're trying to discourage me or tear me down, it doesn't have anything to do with me, you know? And it may sting, but what I don't let it do is like linger. I don't go to bed with it. I don't, you know, I don't hold on to it. So the next product I'm using is the Ordinary, the Salicylic Acid Serum. This is really great. I know a lot of people are afraid of acids, but I really like it. It really does help the texture of my skin. So wait, what does it do? So salicylic acid or any kind of acid for the most part will help you with the texture of your skin. And so for my moisturizer, I'm using the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. It is my absolute favorite. It smells literally like a dream. It is so good. I use this every single night. So let's talk about boundaries. Like how do you establish boundaries? <laughs> you know, in the book, I talk about this, like boundaries are like uh, lanes on a highway and you have to switch your lanes, right? So, you know, but there's shoulders on the road for a reason, because when you cross that shoulder, you can drive on a shoulder if you want, but it'll cause wear and tear on your car. So yeah, you can do things outside of your boundaries and wear yourself out. And so you have to start to be honest with yourself, like, okay, this is the boundary I've created to make sure that I'm not too tired when it's time to put the kids down. Like I said, I'm really adamant on blocking out that like 4.30 
8.30 to like 9 o'clock. That time is for my household. If it's not the kids, it's me making sure my house is reset up for the day. Because the worst is when you're tired and you wake up to just disorder, right? And I'm not even saying like the house is like a big mess, but it's like you have clutter on a counter. It's like just actually clearing clutter clears your mind. And when to me, when you have a clear mind, you increase the likelihood of you having a clear heart. I want to have a clear heart in every single day of my life. Thank you. All I hear in this is intention. Doing intention, everything yes. with intention. <laughs> Knowing the intention and that shapes the boundaries, the balance, the everything. So, yeah. I love it. What advice would you give other moms who are struggling to carve out a little me time throughout the day? If you know that these next two weeks are gonna be intense because of kids' birthday parties, a big project at work or anything like that, set yourself up for success. To know like these next two weeks are gonna be grueling, at the end of it, I'm gonna need a massage. I'm a better mother, I'm a better wife, I'm a better boss because I take care of myself. When I take care of myself, then taking care of my children is a no-brainer. Taking care of my husband is a no-brainer. Taking care of my team is a no-brainer because it's already a priority, a standard that I'm willing to do for myself. My sister said something that really blew my mind the other day. She's like, our job is not to save others, it's to serve others. We don't know how to serve ourselves. That's why we're not serving others. But again, the only reason why I know how to do that is because I've stopped and realized what it requires to serve me. And that's why I know how to serve you. Look at that. Like, I, I mean, I feel like we need to end it right there. Like, that's a word <laughs> in itself. <laughs> what, what else does there need to be said? said? Mic drop. <laughs> So to moisturize, I love the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Pro Retinol Body Butter. It's so good. It just moisturizes my skin like no other. And on those extra dry days, especially in like the cooler months, I love to go in with oil first right out of the bath or shower and I moisturize with the oil and then I double up with the body butter. It's really, really great stuff. Makes your skin feel so great. So there's so many steps into your routine. Ooh. What steps do you think you'll be passing down to your kids when it comes to self-care? Well, I always tell the kids, it doesn't matter how cute you are, don't be ashy. So I'm definitely gonna teach them to moisturize. Like, Callie is so, like, they're all so cute, but Callie, my middle child, she has the cutest eye. Like, she just, she has those, like, puss in boots eyes. Like, you know, remember from Shrek, and she just looks into your eyes, and she can get anything she wants from anybody. But she never wants to lotion. She wants to jump up and down, and I'm like, girl, you are cute, but it doesn't matter if you're cute, if you're ashy. So we're gonna definitely pass on moisture to them as a step to always use and I just really hope that they always seek joy. At the end of my routine, I gotta get them lips together. This is the Ulta Beauty Healthy Hydration Lip Sleeping Mask. Your lips just gotta be soft, supple when you go to sleep. When you wake up, they're just nice and soft and ready for the next day. I love a good sleeping mask and this is one of my go-tos. So Nicole, what do you do for self-care? I, I feel like I'm running multiple businesses and I have all these other projects going on. And so it's important for me to time block, like you mentioned. Like, uh, you know, I get I do get up early, but between the hours of maybe five and eight, I'm eating breakfast, I'm going to work out, I'm having a moment. I put on meditation music all the time or rain sounds. I kind of sit with rain sounds. Um, but later in the day, between eight and 11, I still have it time blocked. I don't take meetings before 11. I just, my mind isn't right before 11. I'm getting it to, you know, to its best productive, creative decision-making self between eight and 11. So I might be checking emails lightly, but no calls, no meetings, no really big decisions are made before 11 o'clock. So thank you so much for taking us through your skincare routine and giving us self-care tips today. Like, I, I took a few gems away from this, so really appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much, Nicole. It was my pleasure. Thanks for having me. You can find all the self-care products that Maddie used at your local Ulta Beauty store or by visiting Ulta.com to shop. Stay tuned for the rest of our Beautiful Soul series for more beauty tips and soul care conversations.